Oh, it looks like the hatching is begun. Just look at this. Welcome to Earth. These two are like holding hands. <laughs> oh my god. Tiny Bob Lighty. The one who refuses to eat. Da -na 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 -na. Turtle swimming. Da -na 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 -na. Today we are giving away some Waterland tubs that we've been using. Uh, these are three medium tubs. We're also giving away two large tubs and one small tub. All of them have lids and all of them are drilled so they can be used right away. Guess who's getting them? Safari Encounters here. Hi everyone, <laughs> I'm Brandy and I run a program called Safari Encounters. This is Daniel, my partner. Hey guys. And we have had an awesome time here. We are an educational outreach program and we go to schools, we do um, educational programs for birthdays, events, all kinds of stuff. And we've been actually picking up some old Waterland tubs that he gave <laughs> us such a great deal on and we appreciate it for some of our rescue um, crocodilians, especially alligators. We've been getting so many rescue alligators a in. Um, and we're actually gonna be showing you one here in a second. Because <laughs> we brought us, um, actually one of our newer rescues, his name is Hook and he came to us um, from the Department of Fish and Wildlife, how we get wow, all of our alligators. Yeah, yeah. And he came to us, um, somebody caught him on their fishing hook. Oh my goodness. <laughs> in San Diego. So we have hence named him Hook. Now he's Ooh, one of our smaller noise. alligators. Um, <laughs> hi, buddy. Um, Watch my hand. <laughs> wow. Oh, the eyes bubble up like that, huh? Is that he's thirsty? I was just a territorial thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So like I said, he's one of our newer outreach animals. Um, our largest alligator is about uh, 12 feet long. Um, so he doesn't make the car ride down <laughs> here. We would not be able to fit the tub. He's younger. We don't know his exact age because like I said, he was actually caught in a lake in San Diego. Um, and one of the main questions we get is, you know, how many alligators do we get a year and the difference between alligators and crocodiles. So if you guys, um, you can probably see in the video, the shape of his snout. You see, it's kind of wide and U-shaped. On a crocodile, it would actually be more pointed, so V or A shape. There's also a reason we did not bring our crocodile today. Crocodiles are much more aggressive, um, generally, than oh. alligators, yeah. Um, like I said, this guy is fresh out of the wild oh from San Diego goodness. Lake, and you know, he's doing really well in our outreach program. He has a little bit of territorial issues apparently sometimes, but you know what, he's still very manageable and he's gonna be a great educational ambassador because they're actually really smart. So they, they definitely um, learn different behaviors. And like I said, he's already calmed down so much, even just being out for just a couple minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness, solid. Oh, solid. Wow, I thought it, it's supposed to be really hard, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, so the scales on the top that you're feeling are called osteoderms. Um, all crocodilians have them. And basically it's like a modified wow. scale with a little bit of bone in it. Um, the ones on the side, if you feel the skin on the side of him, it's actually really, really soft. Yeah. Um, so those scales work wow, like armor. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's like, I like it. it like can we take the, all the teeth out so that I can eat <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when it gets bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta get a really old wow. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna lose each tooth over 60 times, so. Oh, man. They constantly falling out. There you go, wow. there's it. Something it, cute. Look at that, that's so beautiful. Oh, Do you guys hear that noise he's yeah. making? Isn't that the baby uh -huh. sound? The baby yeah, sound. yeah, he's making a baby sound. Oh, he's like, Mom! <laughs> Like I said, he's one of our newer alligators. Um, we have alligators that we've had for over oh, six years. Um, but we're, you know, handling Hook more and more often. That way he gets used to stuff like this. So awesome. it was good that he was able to come visit us today. <laughs> wow, that's that. That's there we go. Oh wow. Oh my god. And Hook is a boy, so he's going to get about 12 feet long. Holy smokes, that is an amazing creature right there. Beautiful. Look at the eyes. Look at the cat eyes almost, right? Oh, I love like, yeah. their eyes. Snake cat. My goodness. Wow. Look at Very cool. that. So this is just one of the rescues. We got him in last one. Wow, you know the bottom is so soft. Uh -huh. it's really like, different types yeah. of scales. Oh my god. I love that feel. Them, like, uh -huh. Usually slide around on the grass. Yeah. Yeah. And the top is like rocks. And he can stare <laughs> out from the water for so long. Yep. yep. He's okay, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, this yeah. is... Our uh, larger ones all kind of stay outside almost all day long just basking. Oh. Whenever they want to cool down, they either open up their mouth to release excess heat or they just go in the water. 
Wow. At nighttime, fantastic. when the temperature drops, they'll go into the water because that's where it actually stays warmer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So safari encounters, they, they came out and they volunteered their time. They, this is all them just volunteering, doing work for the community. Wow, that is just insane. It's like the boots. Yep. Yeah. Like the boots. Oh my gosh, no boots. So awesome. You guys do a fan. Look how amazingly healthy this guy looks. Yeah, he was a little looks, underway when we first got him. And, yeah? Oh, really? You know, yeah, we yeah, couldn't we feed him anything because they didn't know how the hook was lodged in him. Oh, my God. And thankfully, God. he passed in and had, like, a rubber lure around yeah. it. Yeah. And so now he's been uh, slowly putting on weight, thankfully. I mean, we have a bigger alligator. Our largest alligator is about 12 feet. 12 feet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a big boy. You want to talk about the sloth house? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we okay. actually um, opened up um, the Sonoma Sloth House as our response to COVID because we weren't able to go to schools or do anything like that. So we have a little exhibit that people can come do um, private tours um, with. And you get to see a sloth, an armadillo. We have a caiman lizard on display. We have um, a big Mata Mata turtle, since you guys oh, like turtles. Yes, um, we have um, a little koi pond outside and a big African crested porcupine. Oh. So that's Sweet all bonds. including the general tour, and then you can add on animals like a skunk, a baby kangaroo, um, lemurs, all oh kinds of stuff. God. We have, and you can add on the snapping turtles too. All <laughs> well, that 98-pound alligator snapping turtle. We have we have a big one, yeah. We have a yeah, it's like a 98-pound macadamia. We've got a over 60-pound um, alligator snapping turtle named Hazel. Um, Yes. And all of these were confiscations for people bringing them illegally into California. Wow, so <laughs> they're doing a lot of good work. Um, yeah. The other thing is, man, can you imagine what kind of knowledge is required to do all this? <laughs> so uh, we definitely <laughs> owe you guys, yeah, owe you guys a lot. You no, know, thank you. We, wouldn't, thank you we needed much. these yeah. tubs so bad. <laughs> <laughs> This egg hatched, boom, nothing in there. And look at that right there. Let's see if we can dig her out. She needs a little bit more time in here, so I'm not gonna rush her. 